where everyone in the West? <laughs> There's four parties here. Two parties. Oh my God. It's a sad state right now. It is a goddamn sad state right now in, in the world of any West. I swear to God, this is going to be our future if we keep streaming at this time. Hey guys, so earlier today, I started my brand new streaming schedule. And if you guys didn't know, I used to stream very late at night. But these days, I'm trying out a new stream schedule where on weekdays, I'm streaming from 1 to 7 p.m. PST. And on weekends, I'm still keeping the old stream schedule. But through this, I realized that in the afternoon of PST West Coast time zone, the Western servers are legitimately dead. I was like looking at the party finder and there's like no parties available. There are at times like legitimately zero parties for things like a con. And I'm like, dang, what happened? I remember back in the day when, you know, even maybe like a half a year ago, you could pretty much find parties at any time of the day. Of course, there were times where there are a lot more parties than others, but I don't think I've seen the game this dead in a while. So I was just like wondering, man, what is the reasoning for this? And I also wonder, like, is the game actually losing players or is it just like a time thing, right? Did I just get unlucky? Was it just during that time period? So I went on to take a look at Steam charts. And when I looked at Steam charts, this is what I found. So we had the big bot band wave here around the middle of May, right? And that's when the player base really started dropping because of that. And that was natural. We had a lot of bots and they got rid of them. And as a result, we kind of got left with about 20 something to 30 something K players per day. And that was kind of all fine and dandy. But if we look at what we have today, we had 13,000 players compared to the past, which was like 20K, 19K, 20K, something like that. So perhaps today was kind of an off day, but I also have been seeing this number kind of gradually drop, right? So if we take a look at like this number, the peak over here was like 23K, 23K, 21K. And it's like, so it's like, it is gradually dropping and I was just trying to think about why this was the case. And what I've kind of come to the conclusion is, is that perhaps the announcement of tier four, while exciting for many players, because of how it is kind of formatted, where a lot of our 1620 characters are going to get caught up to our 1640. So it's going to go from 1620 tier three to 1640, the latest content when that drops. I think a lot of people are using this time to take a break from Lost Ark, which is pretty healthy, right? For a lot of people, that is pretty dang healthy. But it sucks for those people who are currently still playing the game because this massive decrease in player base also means that the game experience for us who are still playing the game on day-to-day -day basis is a bit worse because we're not able to find parties during certain times of the day. And even during peak times, there's less parties than before. So we're not able to make our parties for our raids as well. Now with solo raids coming out next week, it's going to potentially help out a little bit, but I'm still a little bit skeptical about how good solo raids are actually going to be for players at the end game. I still think it's going to be a lot more for players who are trying to catch up or players who are learning the raid for the first time, but we'll have to see. But I do think that the announcement of tier four potentially is one of the main causes for this huge drop in player base that we've experienced for the past couple of weeks. People have been playing Lost Ark for a long time and they've just been feeling like, hey, why am I grinding for this right now? Why am I working so hard for something that potentially in a couple of months, I'm just gonna get instantly. A lot of people are grinding a lot of alt 1620s, but if you're not doing that, a lot of people are just like, hey, I'm just gonna drop the game, go play something else come back a little bit later, which again is healthy, but unfortunately does make it so the players that are playing the game right now are suffering a little bit. And I'm just like thinking in my mind, what could we have done to make it so that this didn't happen? A lot of why this has happened is because the way that the release cycle works in Lost Ark is that in Korea, the content gets released first. And then after that, it gets released to us. So we're always, you know, a couple steps behind Korea. 
but usually that's fine. Usually that actually builds a lot of hype and makes it like we're really excited for the next content to come. And while we are excited for the next content, this is kind of a very different content release. And again, because of the structure of it, because we are getting our 1620 characters boosted all the way to 1640, the end game, it's making people feel like they don't need to play the game, which is true in many cases, and causing the player base to drop. But I really just don't know what they could have done to prevent this because either A, they push tier four out to both Korea and us at the same time, which is never going to happen. Or B, we kind of end up with this. There's pretty much no way they could have avoided this and made it so that we didn't lose that many players. Now, granted, I think that when the update goes live in Korea tonight, that's going to get a lot of people excited for the game. But we still have months until that content comes to us. So even though there might be a little bit of a temporary excitement for the game caused by the release tonight, well, when you're watching this tonight, um, I still think that because of the fact that there's so much time in between us and Tier 4, because of that, there is going to be a lot of players who still end up stopping to play the game. Now, Maybe perhaps if we push tier four a little bit sooner for us, that could have alleviated some of this player drop. But I just think that realistically, that probably isn't going to be possible for us here in the West. But let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is the case that tier four kind of is in a way killing Lost Ark temporarily? Or do you think that I'm just kind of imagining things? And also, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the bell for notifications, and I stream now every single day starting at 1 p.m. PST. Well, not every single day. On weekdays, 1 p.m. PST to 7 p.m. PST. And on weekends, I'm still doing the old schedule where I'm starting my streams at around 9 to 10 p.m. PST and going all the way until the late hours of the night, 3 to 4 a.m. PST. So hopefully I see you guys on my stream, but if not, hopefully I'll see y'all on the next video. All right, guys, peace out.